Aries, let me tell you, intense energy this week. Intensely energy. Intense energy. Very, very erotic. Very, very sexual energy. Now, what you do with that is your decision, Aries. But it will be there. And it's either going to go really, really good or really, really bad. And we're going to get into the astrology as to why. But either way, it is very present, viscerally present. This energy is intense. And I think you're going to have yourself a good time. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. Aries, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries to Row. It is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, Aries, please remember that this is only half of your reading. I also create an extended reading, and I hope that you will join me for that. You can click the link down below. I will attach it to the top of the comment section. It'll be pinned, and I will also attach it to the top of the description box. Um... Please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Aries content comes out every single Thursday at 9 a.m., but there's all 12 zodiac signs every single week. And I'm sure your sun, your moon sign, all of those you should be watching every single week because sometimes it's not your sun sign that's having the greatest impact on you. Um, remember to like this video. It really helps. Also, comment below because I want to know what you guys think of uh, how you're reacting to everything that I'm sharing with you. And I, if you wanna join me for live chat, a general tarot card reading, I do it every single day on my second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation. You can find the link, I'll attach it above and I hope you guys will join me there too. Um, also join the Unbound membership to this channel. Really, there's so many perks and you basically get twice as many videos because you get access to all of the extended readings for a very low monthly cost. So check that out. It's the Unbound membership. Now, what are the astrology aspects? The astrology aspect primarily is Mars square Venus. And you know when those two get together, it's that love, hate, but always sexual tension. And that's what it is going to be. And I think that it's going to be like that in every aspect of your life. It's like this some sort of like challenge. Oh, I can't stand it. But the more you can't stand it, the more you want it, the more you desire it. Desire itself is going to be intensified. And if you're in a good situation, it's going to be real good. And if you're in a shitty situation, it's going to explode. Exacerbating this aspect is the fact that Mars is says a square. I hate that word, but it's basically 135 degrees to Pluto. And what does that mean? It means that if you use your, it means, it means shit's going to be even more intense. If, if like for your day to day, that's, that's basically what it means. It's going to intensify everything, especially, um, with your control issues. If there are any control issues that you're having with somebody else or your desire to control a different situation, it's going to cause shit. Now, something else that happens to you, it's not impacting you directly, but you're on this planet and it's going to impact you. Mercury is going into retrograde and there's going to be a full moon. Can you say shit hit the fan? Please don't go back with your ex. I'm just begging you. I'm just... Because you're going to have it in your mind. Because you know, when Mercury goes retrograde, those texts start coming in. But this time around, it might even be you that's saying, I'm gonna text this motherfucker because, just because I wanna fuck with him. Or I'm gonna text this motherfucker because I didn't, need, I didn't get to say what I needed to say. Or, oh yeah, I'll talk to you, I'll talk to you again because I'm strong enough. No, bitch, you're not. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a lay it on the line, you know, guys, I'm always honest with you. If you hate me, then hate me for exactly who I am because I'm not gonna lie to you. You are not going to be okay with this energy. It is going to overwhelm you. So don't let those pieces of shit back into your life now. Because if you do, it'll really only be about dominance. To prove yourself. Thinking, oh yeah, yeah, oh look how good I am. Look how good I am. Look how much better I am without you. And then you end up fucking 
and fucking shit up. I'm just saying, you could use that metaphorically too. If you have left something behind, do not let it back into your life just to show it up. Why does it, think, ask yourself this question. I want you to ask yourself this question. Why does it even have any power over me anymore? Because the truth is this, you wouldn't even be thinking of it, of them, of whatever, if it didn't have control over you. You think you have control over it, but you wouldn't even be thinking of that person, that situation, if it didn't still have control over you. And that's okay. Because if you honor it and accept, shit, I still care. Shit, I'm still angry. Shit, I'm still, I'm still, like, I'm still maybe in love. Embrace it. What is it telling you? What do you really desire? Why do you think that they represent something that is of value when you know that they don't? Have that conversation with yourself and then I promise you, if you confront it like that, your life will accelerate and rocket fuel forward and fuck Mercury retrograde. You'll get a lot of shit done because you'll understand yourself at a depth that nobody can like that. That'll purify you. It'll heal, it'll heal you. It'll cleanse you and it'll like dr help weight drop off of you. Um, that's holding you back. That's making you lag back. You'll be done with it finally. But I do think that a lot of things that you're not done with, but you think you're done with, you're not done with them. And they're coming back up for you to actually take care of it once and for all. And it's not even necessarily because you decided to not take care of it. Sometimes we honestly do believe that we're over something. But we do what we can do when we're there. And this is sort of the last leg of healing where you have to admit that there's still something there and I've got to dig in and dig it out. If you don't want cancer, you got to remove the whole fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. But it's at the surface somewhere you can grab and kill it and get rid of it. So it's really actually quite fortunate. Uh, the miracles are endless. What I tell you, this is actually a beautiful energy for progress and for bountifulness to get things done, to feel life working for you, to feel your life being successful. And this is Taurus, so it's material value with work. I think this energy will be exceptionally well applied. Act as if you already got it. So in other words, you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. You don't have to wish for it, hope for it. You already got it. You already got the material wealth and abundance. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Nobody has to know what's in your bank and account. Nobody has to see your statements. Nobody has to know what's in your house. It's not their business. This is definitely a time for embracing the, con the manifestation concept of it's already mine. And so emotionally carry yourself with that level of certainty and peace, personal authority. So you don't have to get a notice. You don't have to get attention, though. I think that you will. I think that you will. And to be honest with you, it could be that you need to hide from somebody this week because they could see how abundant your life has become and you just want to be like a fly on the wall and blend in it's like mm, nothing going on here enjoy your prosperity for yourself now because you know people are gonna be coming out the fucking i'm telling you they're gonna be like cockroaches crawling out of your walls trying to get some of your feast don't let it happen uh, now is a lucky time. More bountifulness, more abundance. Tell me you guys don't deserve this. Yes, you do. And I would say take it all now. Stockpile that shit. Why? Because Mars retrograde is coming up and it's going to last for like three fucking months. It's going to go from the end of October to the beginning of January. So, I mean, this shit's going to be impacting your Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever holidays you celebrate. It's going to be impacting it all. And it's basically going to drain you. You're, you're Mars. You're Mars ruled. It's going to really make you feel drained. So, take this rocket fuel that you have and really that sexual energy that that, that square with Venus forms. It's really rocket fuel. It really, really is. Use it to your advantage. Don't let it use you. Because there's challenges to 
there's challenges to squares. That's what squares are. That's what squares are for, to challenge you so that you get stronger. Even if it has to teach you, oh shit, see? How do those bruises feel? It's going to challenge you. Get back up again. Do it all over again. I can't. I'm sorry, guys. Please be patient with me. I got to keep hydrated. Um, now is a lucky time. Your abundance is going to multiply. And this is what I always say, and I want to put out this warning to you, and I know we're still general. Don't worry about it. We're going to get into the little details. You got to start with the foundation first. Um, what abundance is coming into your life? You want to be especially particular with who you have to share it with. Because the cockroaches will crawl out the walls. But unfortunately, because of this power struggle or this need to control things or prove yourself, it could be you that let the cockroaches in. It could be you that give the text or the cockroaches a call and say, hey, so I um, wanted to invite you over. Because you think, oh, why? Like, I want to show them how well I'm doing. You're not doing so well if you still have them on speed dial. You're not doing so well if you still have them in your phone at all. Delete. Don't be stupid. It is really you wasting your time, energy, and effort, and it's self-sabotage. And I think that that's the, that's the mm, that I want to get to this week, is it could be major self-sabotage. What that says is square to Pluto. Major self-sabotage because of some dark little shadow aspects of yourself that you don't want to look at, which is that you're still jealous or that you're still um, uh, need validation from somebody. It's like, it's like, oh, you, you know, you're not as strong as you think you are. This is, this is what concerns me, but open to infinite possibility. Three of the, th the, the most abundant cards in the deck are all on the table. But there's a fourth card on the table that I need you to pay most attention to. Don't draw attention to yourself. Don't welcome people in. Act like a fly on the wall, blend in, let your abundance just be for you. Be like Scrooge McDuck swimming in his fucking gold bullion, which must have really hurt if you think about it. But you know what I'm trying to reference, right? You know what I'm trying to, well, you know, you see the metaphor right? It's like, keep it to yourself. Fly on the wall, chameleon, blend in. You have nothing to prove when you've got it all. And I feel like this week, especially, it's just not a good time to let people know how good things. Now, I'm not telling, talking about you call your mama, please. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, um, call your best friend, celebrate girl. Oh, no, okay. But like, yes, the people that you care about, the people that you know love you, for God's sake, yes. This could be a, a mentality of, but I don't even want to tell the people that I, that I really love and I know love me because I just want everything to settle. I want everything to fall into place. I don't want to be freaking out about anything or causing a big hoopla. This is really not a time for grand celebration. This is a time for getting shit done. And, and and accumulating energy and value. And it's not a time to advertise. Because even though you're doing extremely well, you are still growing. And it's not about hiding it. It's about keeping it private. What we value, we don't show off. We keep it, we take care of it, we protect it. Maybe we show people that we really care about and we trust around it. When you have a baby, you don't, you don't put it in a stroller or roll it out into the middle of the road and say, everybody look. When you're a baby, you don't even walk into the room and invite everybody to hold your baby. To see your baby, yes, but you're kind of like, oh, yeah, isn't she beautiful? Isn't he so cute? Yeah, but you're holding on to him, right? It's like you just got a golden child. And you don't want everybody to have access to this. You don't. You don't. It's like... You just bought a $250,000 Ferrari. You might want to drive it down Main Street, but you ain't going to let nobody touch it. It's like, how close do you want somebody to get to your value? Not close. There are very few people that you want to share this kind of news and happiness with. Ain't nobody got to know your business. Keep it tight. Keep it, keep it close to you. 
right? Use the aspect of Pluto that is privacy to drive you forward and to help you conduct your energy this week because your energy is abundance, right? And things are looking up for you and the tables have turned. Be the bigger person. It's not about gloating because if you're gloating, you still care and that motherfucker still has power, oh, power over you. You have to realize where the power is, where the authority is. And just because you can gloat with your bling bling and your success, why do you need their attention? Because you're weak and you still need their validation. If you were really over that shit and if you were really self-possessed, you wouldn't even be thinking about them. I hate to tell you. I hate to tell you, but you got to know. So instead of going on and gloating, hang back and be like, mm, mm, no, maybe, maybe I'm better off alone than opening my door to the cockroaches. Like a garage, like a garage. TikTok observer, you've known this for a while. You've been watching this for what did I say? This is like observer fly on the wall, chameleon. I'm just blending in here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Take your time. It's saying first of all, sit back and watch, observe, <clears throat> observe how people act. Now, for some of you, you might be trying to test people. I want to see how they act, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to call you out again on your bullshit, Aries, because I love you. I love you like crazy. If you have to test a motherfucker, then you don't really trust them. You don't. You don't. And I'm telling you, if you got to trust them, test a motherfucker. Like, these are the kind of people, like, you just bought your new Ferrari. You ain't going to let nobody touch it unless you know. They're like Mario Andretti. <laughs> a motherfucker that knows what to do with the car. Somebody that you actually trust, that you don't have to test. If you have to test them, don't even talk to them. That's what I'm trying to say about this week. You've had time. You you know. You've been watching this. You've been seeing this. You've been thinking about this. You've been you've been you've been absorbing for quite some time now. Maybe since the last new moon, or maybe since because this is the full moon in Pisces, right? That's coming up over this moon, over this uh, weekend. Uh, maybe since, uh, the new moon in Pisces back in Pisces season. I don't know. It doesn't even fucking matter. It just matters that you've had plenty of time to observe somebody's actions or behavior. And if you're still sitting there, well, let me test them. You know that they ain't worth shit. There's no test. You don't, what, what, test who, test what, for what? They already failed the test. You already know. If they have to take the test, you are you going to let like a brand new driver, oh, I'll let him take the test and then they could get behind the wheel of my $250,000 car? No. No. You don't let somebody who just took a driver's test fucking get behind something. That, no. If they have to test at all, they're not ready for you. They're not ready for you. They're not ready for your value. They're not ready for your life. If you're just texting, I want to see. Oh, I want to see. Because I can see y'all being this petty this week. I want to see. I just want to see how they react. I just want to see. You want to just see. You know exactly how they're going to react. You know exactly who they are. And you know exactly why they're doing it. And it's all petty bullshit that's going to bring you down in a moment when you should be skyrocketing. Why are you doing that to yourself? Hashtag self-sabotage. Don't do it. Hashtag don't do it. Just don't do it. I love you guys. I'm trying to talk your asses, stubborn asses, stubborn asses down from a cliff. Can't talk a fucking Aries out of nothing. Because you're hard-headed. No, really, that's what the Ram represents. And you are hard-headed. And you do go into things like just full speed ahead. And you don't think enough. You just do. You trust your actions. And I love that about you and it's why you get so much shit done. But this time around, I do want you to think. And I want you to use your head in a different way. Not to knock down those walls. But to vet the value of whoever is knocking on your door. Just go, like, that's what you got to use. I know. I know. But that's the challenge. That's the challenge. 
Don't you like challenges? Don't you think you can win? It's just a different kind of battle strategy. Oh, I mean, all of the cards are confirming. You have so much beautiful stuff on your plate right now. You're healing. You're taking care of yourself. You're nurturing. There's a lot of, there's a lot, this is harvest. This is a, a series is, is like, it, it's, it's the, it's harvest. It's bountifulness. It's the, she's the goddess of the harvest of nurturing of value of like Demeter's she kind of like her um like of of um happiness abundance the universe is taking care of you the universe is taking care of you can you please promise me that you'll take care of you too oh, I'll do it Michelle I'll do it I'll do it I'll do it and then you go text your ex let's go to the extended links below